My name is Reverend Daniel Yeboah. I'm, you know, I'm a pastor, of course, but I'm also into farming. And uh, we have our farms in the front plains, close south, north. So uh, it's at the stage of uh, being exported. So we are putting plants together and we are getting all the necessary information to assist us, do it right. Because as you heard in the meeting, um, products could be rejected when it gets to the international market. So we're trying to avoid all those uh, pit holes so that we could get it right when we start. And we are anticipating to do our first export next year, um, which will be our largest um, harvest. So that's why we are here. We're invited. And we are part of the uh, Ghana Mango Association and also the vegetable Ghana Vegetable Association because we're also branching into vegetables too for export. So that's uh, basically what we're about. Well, uh, being a, a, a newcomer, what they say, a newbie, I realized um, the Ghana Export Promotion Authority made mention of the export school. So that we are, I think that's an area we need to really look at and also pursue that. And then I learn about the packaging and you know what to do and what not to do and also the all the um, state agencies that are involved in inspection like the um, GSA, the PPRSD and also a few of them um, FDA and all that uh, needs to come on board to uh, help help with the inspection for you to meet the international standard and not only that also the freight forwarding is also another issue which we learn a lot and um, spoke to people where we could get you know maybe their services to get it right you know he was talking about you know the right cargo the state of the cargo so all these things are very important and if you miss any 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 level it could cause your product to be rejected when it gets to the um, international market. And also what happens at the airport with the handling and all that stuff. So it was a very productive uh, a seminar or workshop and uh, we're very glad we're invited to participate. Well, so um, a while back I was watching a documentary about blue skies and I learned how the white man that came from London sold his house and the struggle and that was 1998. So his agenda was to come and uh, export um, fruits 48 hours to the European market. And I think it was a, a couple of years ago that I watched that documentary. And they were making it and they were talking about how much you know, they make every year, millions of dollars. I was like, well, I'm a Ghanaian and we have all these lands available already. So if he, a foreigner, is able to do it, why not go into that? So we look at the condition of Afran Plains, and it's good for mango. And so that's why we went into mango. And in fact, there's a lot of challenges with the mango, and you really have to be financially sound, even despite um, the profitability. But the investment is very heavy, and we think it's an area that still needs government support. Because looking at us, we have to transport the seedling. Some we bought from um, Somenya, and then uh, uh, this next uh, next Dodoa, and transporting all the way to our front plane south, uh, cutting through the uh, the the ferry, uh, Panto they call it, to get to the farm with the bar roads and everything. But we had a track that assisted us to. Um, go through all those um, uh, levels. Um, so we've been in it for about five years now, or more, probably seven or five years, yeah. And so we planted in badges, transporting uh, the seedlings all the way from Dodoa and uh, and uh, Somenia. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you too.